15 seconds. Okay, nine is configured for flight. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. Ignition. And resilience rises. Not even gravity contains humanity when we explore as one for all. That's the word we want to hear. Stage one propulsion is nominal. That's 30 seconds into this historic mission, flying crew on board Dragon and Falcon 9. Stage one is preparing to throttle down. This is in preparation for max Q, which is maximum aerodynamic pressure. Stage one, throttle down. There's that call out for throttle down. Power and telemetry continue to be nominal for the vehicle, now traveling at 262 meters per second. Falcon 9 is supersonic. There's that call out, the Falcon 9 is supersonic, and we will be passing through Max Q here shortly, the largest structural load during ascent. Max Q. And there's that call out, that Falcon has passed through Stage Max one Q. Bravo. One Bravo. And we've Project just one entered Bravo. Stage one Bravo abort mode that's going to take them through the end of the first stage burning just before second stage activates off the coast of North Carolina. T plus one minute and 40 seconds into flight Dragon and Falcon 9 traveling 709 In meters per second. Time. That call that MVAC chill is underway, the Merlin vacuum engine. Now with the call out of MVAC D chilling, similar to what we saw in the first stage Merlin engines, the second stage engine being prepared for its ignition coming up in just over 30 seconds from now. We're a half a minute away from three quick events in rapid succession. We're going to get main engine cut off. The nine Merlin engines will throttle down and then shut down. We're going to get stage separation. Stage one throttle down. And then ignition of the second stage engine. We've begun the throttle down in preparation for stage separation. And we have two alpha. alpha. Stage separation confirmed. And you see that stage separation has confirmed. There goes that MVAC engine. Stage two, crew one is now on their way to the International Space Station. On the right side of your screen, you see stage two continuing to burn. Over on the left-hand side is stage one preparing for its return to Earth. Now, currently on the left side, you can't make out much. Uh, it's a couple hours after sunset in Florida, but the grid fins have deployed on the first stage. The first stage is now unpowered, but with the velocity it had, it continues to coast up to an apogee before it begins to descend back into Earth's atmosphere. Now, as we watch, maybe we'll see the lights of floor. And we've got ignition of the entry burn, center engine, followed by the other two restart engines. First stage now getting ready to re-enter the Earth's atmosphere. This is about a 29-second burn, and it's designed to slow the vehicle way down. We're going to shed about 70% of the velocity of that dropping first stage by the time this landing burn completes. On time. Dragon SpaceX, nominal orb insertion. Launch escape system is disarmed. And SpaceX copies. And Leah, the words we like to hear, a nominal orbit insertion. That's right, John, nominal orbit insertion. As we mentioned, stage two. Oh, looks like some action on stage one.
And I believe we've had a touchdown on the drone ship. We've got stage one has touched down on the drone ship in the Atlantic Ocean. But now the more important news, second stage is in orbit, right where we want, right on time. And we're getting ready for our next major activity, which will be Dragon spacecraft separation. Now currently on the second stage, we are essentially And separation confirmed. You can see that second stage departing. Crew Dragon leaving it behind. Separation confirmed. Now 12 minutes, 25 seconds into today's flight. Our next thing we'll be looking for is nose cone deploy. Our hooks will start to open on the nose cone and reveal those forward thrusters underneath. Confirmation from teams on the ground and the crew. You can see them monitoring those three display panels, monitoring their journey to the International Space Station and where they are in the world right now, or over the world, I should say.